rear view and from the south, scouring the southwest portion of downtown. Considering everything goes to plan, I'm sure we must be able to stop the ambush before they get there. And... Well, well, well. An eavesdropper, huh? <laughs> or have you just suddenly decided to wake up? Granted, it's quite difficult to tell the time in such a dark facility as ours. Well, now that you're awake... I'll be handling this one. Agents, if you wouldn't mind leaving us on a lonesome for a few minutes, I got this one. Hmm. <laughs> now, back to you, my lovely ex companion. My, you're looking a little worse for wear aren't you? <laughs> you could say the same for me. <laughs> we all age, old friend. You certainly aren't the wide-eyed child with a big heart I grew up with. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe just, just maybe. I look better for my age than you do. When's the last time you took care of yourself? Oh, the hair nerve, didn't it? Well, you kept one aspect the same. You've still kept your sharp tongue all these years, haven't you? It's one of your qualities I never, never forget. You know, the agents don't like me being around you. Even through their pitch black glasses and stiff suits, you can indeed see you. If you weren't locked in this, I wouldn't even think about being alone with you. You've made your fellow citizens view you as the bane of their city. And you've, you've given them reason to believe so. So, nerd, what's your plan now? Head and body slam that glass wall all you want, and yet it'll never break. State-of-the-art technology at your service. <laughs> I mean, you've stolen quite a bit of that. Correct? Ah, yes. The misadventures are for fool. By continuing to fruitlessly hit this wall right here, you'll only tie yourself out and aggravate your wounds. Yeah. The wounds you received from your capture. The ones I, well, rather my crew, gave you. It wasn't one of your, one of your most graceful performances. Even from where I was, circling up on a helicopter, I could see you. I could see all over your face and your body. Humiliation. Being manhandled like that. Not quite you, was it? There was something else, something else beneath your mask, too. Fear. Thick, saturated fear. You'd finally met your match, hadn't you? I've seen it enough to know. Fear can make even the most experienced villain commit an erroneous move. However, you, you were lucky. 
lucky enough to retain some of your skills. Well, it is quite mean of me to say it was all luck. I gotta hand it to you. You've always been quite the artist. Um, do you recall? As you began making your grand exit, it was daylight clear. You weren't expecting anyone to show up. You tried to keep your composure and fight us off. Yet as time passed, exhaustion exasperated, you finally gave in and collapsed to the cracked pavement. The very same way you're sliding that pathetic body down the wall right now. An amusing sigh. Language, language. Come on. This wasn't you. The you I knew and adored. Was it me that finally uncovered your plans? Yeah. Yeah, yes, it, yes it was. Honestly, the person that knows your flaws more than anyone is me. You could say that I felt a better tangle of both satisfaction and, well, remorse. Yet I... I couldn't help but become entranced by your plans. They were so intricate and intimate, and it was like I was seeing something meant for someone else. Still, I could... I could, I could tell you wrote them. It was as if we were still studying in the lab back in college with your clean and overly organized way of writing all of your notes. Prior, however, I've seen you countless times on the news as you unleash brutal assaults, cold and calculating. I've studied your tactics, gear, every action, every bit of your theory, and No, 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 I don't stalk you. It was merely observation. Don't get it twisted. Am I happy, you ask, for finally capturing you? Hmm. I want to be. I want to force myself to celebrate. To receive all the glory to be bestowed a medal of honor. But I... I can't... I can't bring myself to wholeheartedly want any of that. All I desire... All I des... All I desire genuinely is to... <laughs> Nothing. Doesn't matter. My, even as you glare into my eyes and furrow your brow, your eyes are the very same I've always known. Full of determination and some kind of spark. But now they carry a, a new kind of look. Realization. Ah. Ah, don't try to refute me when I've known you for so long. It's heading, you know. Isn't it? The full weight of the people you've harmed. The things you've done. It's about time you have a damn moment of reflection. Could you just please close your eyes and have that moment to yourself. You're in the wrong. So, so, so. The, the moment has arrived. 
is the question we've all been waiting to ask. Why? Why did you do it? Why did you throw everything away? That's, that's the question that's been burning on my tongue for so long. What possible backstory do you have to throw at me? Huh? A backstory that altered your brain to do this. Ah, I see. Oh, that makes sense, doesn't it? You were tired. Tired of people having overly high expectations. Of being the perfect, of being the prodigal child. You were sick of the scummy way the world treated you as a kid. Only to have them switch up when you brought impeccable grades and college admissions. You, you, you. Despised how they only valued you for their own advantage. <laughs> it's not pretty, is it? The way you can be treated like a napkin, used when you're needed, thrown away when someone says, hey... I've had enough of you. That's politics. I thought you knew that. Remember, um, remember how I used to work on a campaign for the senator with that uh, gel caked hair? I wasn't paid. Despite the guy being richer than a mother, I moved to state offices all alone and the stress was horrible. I wanted to serve the public with all of my heart and soul, but they hated me for it. Once I made it her, I was wary and battered, as if I had fought numerous wars, but I still made the promise to remember the wrongs that had been committed against me and prevent them from happening to others. Not to worsen what was already wrong with the world. I wish you... I wish you would have done the same thing. It is a much better way of going about it than what you did. Violence should never be... The solution. I, I hate to be the one to say it. But it's never too late to reverse your misdeeds. And no one needs to go through it alone. I wanna... <laughs> yes. Yes, I'll spit it out if you let me. I wanna help you. I wanna be by your side as you mend your errors and pick up the pieces of your life. Only, I, I wish I could have been there sooner, so you didn't have to tread down that path. I, I, what? No, no, I, I never said I wanted to be with you, or anything like that. N no, no, no. Don't give me that smirk. You're still an idiot. And also... You're in a not-so-nice prison cell. For God's sake, you have nothing to sneer about. This is strictly a guidance offer. Community service. Or professional. Nothing else. My cheeks are not red, and I'm not blushing. I wore this thick pantsuit all day, all stuffy in here, and I was bound to be hot. Would you shut up before I retract my offer? Good. Now, 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 
I have business to take care of. A medic will come to check up on your wounds. Be good for them, all right? From now on, consider this uh, the new beginning of your new long chapter. The rise, fall, and rise again of your stupid god complex. Mm-hmm. <laughs>